Progress never stands still. To be competitive, a learning environment must be capable of evolving actively to prepare students for changing conditions in industry. To meet these needs, the School of Engineering Technology at Purdue University is building a state-of-the-art lab called the Smart Learning Factory, the first of its kind in the country. The new Smart Learning Factory will allow students to apply innovative technologies to real-world challenges in manufacturing. Students will learn about artificial intelligence, machine learning, the Internet of Things, the cloud, data science, mixed reality, robotics, and cybersecurity in Dudley and Lambertus Halls, a $140 million facility that opened in January 2023. So far in here, we've got two pieces of equipment. We've got our 90-ton injection molding machine, and we've got a Haas CNC vertical machining center. The injection molding machine will be used for making plastic parts, and then the CNC, it'll be a three plus two vertical mill. So it's starting with a chunk of metal, subtracting away what you don't want. It's gonna have five axis capabilities. What's really unique about that device is Haas partners with Philips, and we will be installing a metal 3D print head in that, in that machine. There's only a handful of those in the world right now that are outfitted with that capability. What this will allow us to do is do part repairs, so we, if the part, metal part breaks, we can subtract away the broken piece uh, and fill it back in. Also, this is going to allow for a lot of really complex geometries that traditionally, in usual traditional machining techniques, you wouldn't be able to accomplish. Where we were just standing over here, this will be our smart warehouse facility. So think of like an Amazon plant. Uh, we'll have robots in here that handle the shelving and storage of pieces and parts as they come in for the products that we create. There'll also then be two autonomous roaming robots that drive all throughout the facility um, and even in the future down to our foundry in the basement to pick up parts and, and deliver parts as needed. Then on that side of the factory, that'll be where all the assembly equipment comes in. There'll be a lot of traditional robotic assemblies, which is think of very much industry 3.0. They just push button, feed a bunch of parts and walk away but then kind of we'll have a lot of the forward-looking technologies in that space that will deal with the human and technology collaboration in assembly. So looking at collaborative robots, what's called light guide system that will allow for work instructions to be projected to a, work, a human worker there, uh, a lot of different quality control checks uh, from you know, new technologies for that, really showcasing the human technology collaboration at that point. All these pieces, they won't be islands in and of themselves. Everything will be connected together. So there'll be a constant communication on our own private network of all these devices. So each one is, go is going to be aware of what's going on and can all be orchestrated from our servers and our software stack that we set up. One of the big things we want to showcase is kind of what a small scale manufacturing plant of the future looks like. What we are aiming for ultimately is what's called batch one processing, which is instead of more traditional manufacturing where you're producing millions of just one part, what does it look like for a factory to produce a few thousand or maybe even a few hundred of something and then quickly change over and start making a new product right away? A lot of the technologies, especially assembly stations, looking at that collaborative robot features and having that human and robot interaction that work off of each other is going to be a key part of that. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to kind of help showcase that is the product that we create every year, two at most, but really every year we're going to try to switch that out and retool and start making a new product. Mm -hmm.